I never, ever, ever thought I would be talking about this Michigan State project. This team didn't appreciate how difficult it might be to commercialize this technology. Where projects are struggling, it bothers all of us, and this was a good example of a project that struggled. A critical component on their development path was finding an entrepreneur who really put his heart and soul into trying to commercialize this product. Switch Source is a commercializing a technology that was invented at Michigan State University. It's a power flow control technology, and essentially it has the capability to control the flow of power out on the transmission grid or the distribution grid. And I was really impressed with the technology, but we didn't really have that market fit. It took a little bit of time talking to different stakeholders in the industry for us to really find where our home was from a pricing perspective, from a sizing perspective, from a market scale perspective. All of these pieces started to fall together. We were getting utility interest once we had identified this sort of application and uh, we were off to the races. Really what we've been focused on is if there's areas that have very high penetrations of renewable generation like solar, how can you take that solar generation that's on one circuit that might be overloaded and we can route that power to an adjacent circuit that has load with customers that can use that renewable generation. We're using very boring off-the-shelf semiconductors rated for 1200 and 1700 volts and you can put this into a module stack these modules together, and now you can connect to lines that are operating at 15,000 volts, all the way up to transmission level voltages at 138,000 or 230,000 volts. What we tried to design was a piece of equipment that looked as much like the existing equipment that utilities use as possible. We have bookended our power electronics with off-the-shelf circuit breakers that are currently being used by utilities throughout the United States. We have medium voltage coming in, it goes through a switch, a circuit breaker that the utilities can control, and that gives them the warm, fuzzy feeling that if anything goes wrong, they can drop us from the grid. Beyond that is where our power electronics cabinet is. And that's really where the magic is of this idea of having a controllable valve that can route power. It's these individual power electronics modules that you'll see stacked up. They're connected with three main connections. Uh, one is for the thermal management, one is for the power, and one is for communications. What we're able to do is bring all of those components together in a cost-effective way and something that's inside the footprint of a 20-foot shipping container. In 2019, we engaged with NREL to do testing on our TIE controller. Now, what's phenomenal about the existing infrastructure here at NREL is that NREL has the capability to not only deal with this amount of power because they're used to working with large utility-scale wind turbines, but they're also able to simulate faults. And that's something that's really critical and important to our customer base. The unit that we have here is gonna go live on a system with real utility customers with a major investor-owned utility in the East Coast. The technology is mature enough, uh, we've got the right partners, we've developed all the right supply chain uh, to get a utility-grade piece of equipment that's going to have a real impact on reliability, efficiency, and solar hosting capabilities. Sometimes the projects feel almost like they're your children, um, and you deeply want them to be successful, um, but yet they have to stand on their own two feet. It is definitely a different feeling when you take this from you know, a concept on paper that you're talking about uh, to something that's a real piece of hardware. And then, you know, getting that traction with your utility customers, understanding that they see the value of your device. And not only is it going to be valuable for them, but it's going to be really valuable for their customers. When you're committed to the mission and you see a project turn it around, um, you see a project be successful, and you're so invested in that success, there's very few feelings that are that rewarding.